it going? Um, so today was the Indie Bass Show. Actually, the Indie Sport and Travel Show has been going on since last Friday all the way till this Sunday. So all the guys here in Indiana, go check that out. Um, go hit up the Ball State University uh, booth. Um, got my jersey on right now. Still have it on from class, uh, when I went. But anyway, so here is part two of the rod and reels that I currently use. Um, there's still one rod in the mail. Yeah, it's in the mail. It's from St. Croix. It's still on its way. I haven't got it yet. Um, just waiting on that one to come in. And then that'll be my last one. But you guys already basically know what that rod and reel is. It's another Shimano 7-1 medium heavy Mojo Bass with a Casitas on it. Probably. Don't know. Um, might change it up. Who knows? So, first one we're going to talk about today is going to be my handcrafted Mojo Bass. It is going to be my top water. It is a 6.8 medium power fast action tip, and it's going to have a Shimano Kanan on it, a 6.3 to 1. It's the 151 series, so it's the left handed. Like I said in the last one, I'm converting to all left-handed rods and reels. So on this guy right now, I have a little whopper plopper or a little plopper um, in sexy shad color. I really like that color. This has 30-pound braid on it, guys. 30-pound braid. I. Some people would say mono. Some people are going to tell me braid. I like braid as my... For my top water, it doesn't have the stretch that mono has. I'm going to get better hook sets, and I just, it's my personal opinion. You guys can think what you want. That's fine. I don't care. I mean, yeah, I want your input, but this is ultimately, it's, this is what I fish with, and this is how I fish, so I'm not going to change my ways, but yeah. So there's that one. And that one is one of the ones I got through Dick's Sporting Goods since I am an employee there. St. Croix offers a deal that we get 50% off rods and reel or rods through them. So I ordered two rods, Mojo Bass. I like the Mojo Bass. It's a good starting rod, and I'm trying to do it as most economical as I can. So next up, I have one more spinning setup. My second to, well... Right now I only have two spinning setups. I'm looking to get another one to make it my drop shot and rig. Um, it's probably going to be another carbon light. I really like that. Right now I have 30 pound braid on it and it's got a three and a half foot 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, this rod is the Abu Garcia Vengeance rod. Um, it's a seven foot medium power fast action. Um, I really like this. It's got good sensitivity. I just, it was an economical, cheap rod. I mean, the way it bends, it looks nice. I just, I think it's good. Paired with a Shimano Sedona, the two, the 2500 FE. I really like that rod. Um, like I said, guys, I'm mainly all Shimano. So my next rod for spinning will probably be a Carbon Light, but I'm probably going to put a Shimano rod on it. So I have this set up for a wacky rig right now. Um, Sanko, Stanko, however you want to call it. I know most of the other guys and like Flair and all those people, they call it Stankos. Um, I mean, it's just your personal preference. Uh, call it what you want, I'll call it what I want. So that's how it goes. I like the way this feels. You can still feel it. Um, got it set up as a left. I mean, you can hear the drag on it. I don't have it too tight. It's. I think this is a good rod. I've caught. I caught that 441 off of this that day. I had a shaky head on it because my uh, carbon light got smashed in a window thanks to my mother for rolling it up. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. I Bass Pro took care of it. They got it replaced. That's all that mattered. And then last but not not least is this new setup that I got. This is not a St. Croix rod. It is an ig an ign an ign uh, So this rod is an Ignima rod. It's the uh, Aaron's Edge version, uh, made after Pro Aaron Matthews. Um, I really like this one. I got it today. It is a 7.3 heavy, fast action. So and then I've got it right now set up as my uh, flipping rod. 
I've got 15 pounds fluorocarbon on, and this rod is actually the the 201 HG Sitka or Sit Sitka or however you guys say it. I say it weird. It's another Shimano. Again, I like the Shimano. This one has the S the uh, X chip on it and the SVS braking system, so it's going to be even better. I wanted to get the Casitas, but the guy's like, yeah, we don't have any, so he uh, threw me a great deal on this uh, reel. I couldn't pass it up, and so I went with it. It's a good deal. Um, this one's going to have an open blank right here, so you can feel the vibration just like the Mojo Bass are. Enigma is a newer, it's got micro glides on it, which I'm not used to quite yet. I gotta get toned in on that. Um, so yeah, this is this spool size is the 200, so it's a lot bigger than what I normally do. So what I did was I took P-Line CXX, the 20 pound, and used it as a backing on it. I probably could have used braid just because it's lighter, but I used that, and that's my backing. So I'd probably put uh, half the spool as that and then the other half of the spool is my fluorocarbon so yeah that's that right now I have a little uh, half ounce flipping jig tied on um, this rod I didn't have intentions of buying a rod but when I felt it and the guy he sold me and it's a good rod I who knows maybe in the near future I might be switching I really like the way it feels so far. I haven't caught anything. I've just been flipping and playing around with it, but it's a lot. It's probably the most sensitive rod that I have right now. I was out in the yard a few minutes ago flipping out, and I could close my eyes, and I could feel every little tree stump that I was going over, and that was pretty impressive to me to find that. I don't get that with my St. Croix, but I also didn't buy the top-of-the-line St. Croix. Now this rod is originally, I believe, $200. I ended up getting it for like 65 bucks. So it was a pretty good deal. But anyway, so I got a decent deal on this whole setup today. But yeah. So, well, what I also want to talk about is a setup that is cheap and economical. You guys can go out to Dick's. You can go get, you can go spend all your money you want. You can go do whatever you want. But my what I want to do is talk to you about a cheap and economical setup that I really like so one sec all right so this rod is a $25 rod at Walmart cheap I know but let me tell you it is definitely it's just as good as some of the other rods I fished with so this is gonna be the Berkeley Cherrywood HD and it's a medium heavy seven foot fast action and it's gonna be I just it's gonna be a red color and then it's still got an open blank and then you can get your hand in there and you can feel the vibration this rod for $25 I will take it into a tournament any day it is that good of a rod that I like and I trust I trust it and I will use it I I will continue to use this rod it's just a rod that I have fell in love with for 20 bucks I bought it just because I got a reel and I wanted to use it while I was down here I needed another rod for a reel actually no I didn't do that my grandfather gave me this rod so yeah that's what it was my grandpa gave me this rod and well I love it it's great you can go to Walmart get them 20 bucks 20 25 bucks you can walk out set your whole lineup this way there was some guys today that were older bass fishermen that said they love this rod. They absolutely love it. So that's $25. Now, you don't need to spend this much on a spool, on a lot, on a reel, and spool it up with Power Pro or any of that, but it was just, it's what I have. I go Shimano all the way. You could go down to the next size Shimano, the lower Shimano, for 70 bucks if you wanted, but that's up to you. This is what I had. My girlfriend got me this for Christmas, and this was the rod I decided to put it on. She's not too happy about that because she thinks it should be on a nicer and more expensive rod. But anyway, so this is the Shimano Kaden, the six two or six point three to one. It's basically my the same as my left hand, but it's in the right hand. Now this rod is very versatile. It's going to be a fast action tip, but it's going to be a very stiff fast action, fast action tip. 
So some of you guys might not like that, some might. Um, it's just going to be your personal preference. I like it. I've used it on a couple of my ponds back home. I, uh, I'll throw a chatterbait on it, throw a jig on it. I'll just throw about anything with this rod, and I like that. I like it. I can throw it in my car and not worry about the rod getting broke. If it gets broke, that's fine. I can put a tip on it, or I can just go get a new one for $25. Now, oh, I, I'm not made of money, obviously, but this rod is a good rod. It's a good starting rod for anyone just getting into bass fishing. I mean, heck, you could go put an Abu Garcia on here if you really want it. You could put any rod, reel on here that you wanted. I recommend Shimano. That's what I like. That's what I've always fished with. But that's my personal preference. Again, not sponsored by them, but it's a good way to go. Um, so I Basically, what I have this set up right now is as my... Uh, it's kind of just my utility rod. I just do whatever with it. Um, sometimes I'll throw it as my uh, Texas rig rod. It just depends. I doesn't really make a difference to me. I'll probably end up switching that eventually to the Shimano, my one, my seven one, one of them, to one of those. But right now it works. So yeah, that's that, guys. Um, Sorry about not having any fishing videos lately. It's been kind of a stressful week. I've got spring break coming up. Can't wait for that. So, yeah. Hopefully we can get some more uh, fishing videos. Hopefully we can go catch some fish. I'm going to go try and go to the river tomorrow morning, which is Saturday. I'm going to tie on some small stuff on and just see if I can't get anything. If not, no big deal. Doesn't matter. Don't care. I'm having fun. Any day that I can go out and attempt to fish is a better day than sitting here or doing schoolwork or being at work. So, with that being said, keep fishing, have fun, take someone out with you, just have fun. That is the main thing. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good one. Um, hopefully, I can catch some fish for you all tomorrow. So, peace out, everybody. Have a good night and peace. <laughs> Thank you.